Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I'm going to answer a question that a ton of people ask. And by a ton of people, here's just a small sample. And for those who don't understand the context or where this was asked, I'm going to link the video in the annotations. I'm going to link it down below in the description box. I did a video talking about no gainers. And so if you don't actually know what a no gainer is or what I'm talking about, go check that out so you understand the context of this. And people are asking the question, what will happen if a no gainer goes on them their whey protons? And again, I think people are probably going to chime in. Well, Jason, we already have the answer because you're a no gainer who's gone on whey protons and you still haven't made any gains. Yeah, fuck you guys. All right, but seriously, this is a fantastic question. A lot of people want to know what happens when a true no gainer, someone who genetically does not respond to exercise, their muscle tissue does not respond or adapt to exercise. It's a very tiny minority of people. We have found it to be a genetic trait. What happens if they go on anabolics? The answer, we don't know. We don't actually know. However, we have plenty of studies, and I've linked multiple studies for you guys in the past on this. It can be found easy enough showing that when people who don't lift go on exogenous testosterone, and it's done in actual medical studies, they gain muscle. They gain a lot of muscle without lifting weights. And we've seen cases of up to 18 pounds of muscle being gained in 20 weeks by people who don't lift at all on this stuff. Documented under laboratory conditions. So because you're dealing with a different component, you're not dealing with training stimulus and uh, the body adapting to training stimulus, you're dealing with a direct anabolic agent. Would the no gainers gain muscle mass if they went on whey protons? And I think it's fair to say they probably will. I'm going to give a hypothesis that states that they will probably gain significant amounts of muscle mass when they go on the whey protons, just like patients do with various muscle wasting diseases, everything else. They can still be bedridden and people gain 20 or 30 pounds of muscle mass when on these prescription anabolics when they're in bed sick who are completely bed bound and not even moving. They don't even have to be up and moving, let alone be lifting weights to gain significant amounts of muscle if they've had some sort of muscle wasting disease. So for people like that, these are miracle substances. These are like magical cures for them. And so would the no gainer possibly gain muscle mass, I think it's very likely that they will, very probably that they will. Do we know for a fact that they will if this happens? No, we don't. But what we do know is that they do not adapt to training stimulus, so these people would probably not gain additional muscle mass if they combined weight training with uh, some sort of anabolic agent. But the anabolic agents would probably reverse this. Would I recommend that they go this route? No, because number one, it probably wouldn't be legal. And number two, because they are taking a lot of risk to gain 15 pounds of muscle to basically look like they've been lifting for a year. Is it worth it? I guess it's up to the individual. I would say probably not. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. If you enjoyed this video, you found it informative, entertaining, or anything else, or you like my work in general, I would very much appreciate it if you guys would click like down below. So thank you very much if you do that. So I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.